Shabhi Kaur from Anyalai, and today in this video, we are going to review the Oxygen OS 11 Pro for the Redmi A20 Pro. So, without any further delays, let's begin. Okay, so first things first, the fingerprint unlock doesn't work, but the face unlock works perfectly. And when you unlock your uh, screen using the face unlock or even the normal un uh, the pin unlock, there is a very good and sweet animation over here. So now let's just jump to the settings quickly and let me show you the about phone. So this Oxygen OS uh, ROM is ported from the OnePlus 8 so the device name over here it shows OnePlus 8 and in the processor it's showing Snapdragon 865 but as we all know the K20 Pro has the Snapdragon 855 and we have the Oxygen OS Beta version 5 over here and uh, yeah this is pretty much it and uh, also over here it's showing the screen 90Hz Fluid AMOLED but uh, as you know K20 Pro doesn't support higher refresh rate now let's just go back and this is how the setting menu looks like and it's very organized I must say especially in this card sections and everything for suppose in the network and communication part this is one card and for display customization etc this is organized in one card so this is this looks very organized and neat and clean and now let's quickly jump to Wi-Fi network let me just show you all the things over here nothing new over here things remain same and if you go to Bluetooth and device connection okay so this thing doesn't work properly as soon as you tap over there see. so there is a little bit bugs as this is the very first initial build so you might see a lot of bugs I mean the minor bugs now let's just go back and jump to the display so here you get couple of options like the ambient display etc how to set it up and the horizon lighting is basically the edge lighting you can choose between the colors etc and it works there are no issues in that so that's good and uh, these are the usual uh, things that what we have seen in the oxygen os 10 also so there is no nothing new as in terms of features but yes the oxygen os 11 is visually appealing when compared to the Oxygen OS 10 and uh, this there is this vibrant color effect etc and I don't I didn't feel that this might add a little bit of boost or something it looks pretty much the same maybe it works very well in the Android uh, I mean sorry the OnePlus uh, 8 now let's just go back and in the customization here is what the game begins if you tap on canvas you can select any photo and it will make a sketch it will analyze the photo etc and it will something make a sketch like this and in the wallpapers if you go in this you can see a ton of wallpaper options when compared to the oxygen OS 10 and here you get the cyberpunk and here you get the cyberpunk uh, wallpaper also and these wallpapers must say they look really 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 good and uh, let's just stick to this and just say it. okay now let's just jump to the settings yeah and in buttons and gestures you can set quick gestures etc here you get a good amount of options for uh, for a particular gesture to uh, trigger a particular app or uh, action also you get the music control double tap to wake etc raise to answer a switch so that's good and if you just go to the security and lock screen over here you can see the option of fingerprint but when you tap and you enter your pin and tap next see so this is a bug the fingerprint doesn't work but the face unlock works as I have shown you in the earlier part of the video and rest other things are fine and now let's just go back before going back one thing as you can see the security update over here is not 1st Jan 2021 is 1st December 2020 and over here the Google Play system update is of 1st September 2020 so this uh, up this uh, patch is not that latest but it works no issues 
and uh, the battery performance i would say is decent but not something extraordinary that i felt over here it's good but yeah it could have been great and also over here you get the digital well-being option so you can see how like a particular usage etc so that's good and again in if you go to utilities you get a couple of options like parallel apps app locker one plus switch in one plus switch this is basically you know for file transfer etc from transferring file from your old phone to your to new phone and quick reply in landscape this feature is actually very helpful and uh, this parallel apps feature is not available in each and every custom rom but uh, yeah like uh, the miui users who are migrating to this might feel this feature very helpful again and uh, this is pretty much it and now i'll tell my observations and uh, my observations for this is that i saw that other youtubers are saying that this rom is very stable etc but in my review or in my experience what i felt was this rom is stable to at a particular point for example if you're using your phone continuously maybe you are using google chrome or youtube or some any other application for a long amount of time then the phone tends to hang all of a sudden the applications tend to crash and the uh, the wifi or the internet or the mobile data doesn't work at all so there is a issue in that and uh, i won't uh, say that this is a minor issue this is a major issue actually all of a sudden just imagine all of a sudden your phone gets crashed and all and uh, nothing is working so you have to restart it and it works fine again and the app draw looks like this so that's good and nothing different and nothing different uh, when compared to the oxygen os 10 and uh, in this you get this india nets this is an application as you know in this uh, uh, k20 pro we don't have the uh, volume slider so here you get the from here you can trigger the ring vibrate and dnd mode so that's good and also you can trigger the india also i mean the dnd from over here in the quick settings at the quick setting part in this the tiles also look very organized and in this you can observe that some kind of uh, animations are added not that much but i felt that yeah something is there and if you swipe to your left this is the google feed what you get by default and if you swipe up and uh, swipe left it will ask for entering the pin and over here you can have the hidden space where you can hide the app, the hidden apps you can access it from there and the gaming part i have not tried much on this but uh, yeah i believe that it should work properly so guys this is my quick and short review for this uh, k20 pro uh, android 11 oxygen os and uh, if whatever your review whatever you felt after installing do let us know in the comment section below and i hope you to see in my next one also do like share and subscribe till then stay safe